Hi, I'm James Ward, a platform evangelist at Salesforce. I want to show you a short demo of a little project that I've been working on to really simplify the developer experience when it comes to deploying applications and then developing those applications locally. So let me dive in. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this Heroku button here on a GitHub project and I'm going to deploy this application to Heroku. So this will be the first step is to deploy it up on the cloud and then I'll set it up in, on my local machine for development. This is a Node.js application and I'm going to deploy this application on Heroku so it's going to check out the source code from GitHub and then build the application. That'll take a minute to want, run. So while that's running, let me tell you about what we're going to do next. Once we get this project deployed on Heroku, I'm going to download and set up a whole development environment without using a command line and without having anything pre-installed on my system. So this really simplifies the, the process of getting a developer environment bootstrapped. So I'll fast forward to you when this is done deploying. It just takes a minute, but don't want you to have to wait. Great, so my app has been deployed. Let's go check it out on Heroku. So there we go, it's just a very simple little hello world application. So now that I have my application deployed, I need to get the code onto my local machine. I've created a little app to do that. So this is download-heroku-source.herocrap.com and there we can see my LitWave app. And I'm going to just click that and it's going to fetch the source code and download it as a zip file. So it'll take a second to download that zip file, but then I'll be able to extract that zip file and then we can go into this directory and in this project directory here on my local machine, I can now launch this project's development environment and local server by just running Gulp. This isn't just standard Gulp, this is the Gulp launcher, which is something that Bruce Eckel and I created that will download all the dependencies needed to run Gulp. So that's Node and NPM and Gulp itself. So let's go launch this. So I'm going to open this up and say, yep, I'm sure I want to launch it. And so now it's going to take a minute to, for the first time, download Node, download uh, Gulp. And then I'm also going to download Atom, uh, the source code editor from the GitHub folks. And so this will take a minute to download all of my dependencies, but this is doing everything from scratch. So I don't have to do uh, have any of these things on my system. So it's going to take a minute to, to get that, so I'll fast forward until it's done downloading everything. Alright, everything's been downloaded that's needed for local development, and now I'm in the Atom editor and can start actually working on this project. Gulp launched the local node server so that I can actually start working on this application locally. So let's go open that up. That's at localhost 5000. We'll see that there we get the same thing, hello world. And if we go back to Atom, we can open up app.js and start to make some changes. But before I make a change, I want to show you one thing that's built into this Gulp build is the live reload. So if I turn on live reload in my browser and then come in and make a change to this file, as soon as I go back to the browser, you'll see it's refreshed that page and there I'm seeing, seeing the latest changes. So that's great. I've got my local environment all up and running and now I want to deploy my changes to Heroku. So I've installed an Atom plugin that allows me to first log into Heroku and so we'll log in here with my username and password. And then once I log in, what it's actually doing is creating a .env file that has my API token for Heroku in it. So once we have that .env file there, now I can go up to Packages and then go to Gulp Control Open, and now I can click Heroku Deploy. Heroku Deploy uses that .env file to, or an environment variable actually, it's coming from that .env file to be able to communicate back to Heroku. So there we go, I've just uploaded the source code for my application up to Heroku. So now it's being built on Heroku. So if we go back over to Heroku and we go to the Heroku dashboard here and I go to that LitWave application then go to Activity. And we can see that there is a build in progress from that upload that I just made. And you can see it's doing the node build and then uh, looks like it's deployed. So let's go um, refresh the page over here. And now we see on my production app on Heroku, my changes have been made there. 
So I just went from an application deployed on the cloud to a local development environment and back all without having to install anything locally on my machine or use a command line. It's a super simple experience to get started using these technologies. You can find all this stuff on my GitHub, uh, so github.com slash James Ward. And there was a number of projects that I created to make all this possible. Uh, all those will be in my, my GitHub repository feed there. So check it out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.